What is the process for reusing activated carbon? Hey there, welcome to our video on reusing activated carbon. In this episode, we'll explore the process of reusing activated carbon and highlight its importance in promoting sustainability. So, let's dive right in. What is activated carbon? Before we delve into the process of reusing activated carbon, let's quickly understand what activated carbon is. Activated carbon is a highly porous material that is commonly used in various industries for its exceptional adsorption properties. It is produced from carbonaceous materials, such as coal, wood, or coconut shells, which are treated to create a network of pores and a large surface area. This unique structure allows activated carbon to effectively trap and remove contaminants from gases or liquids. Why reuse activated carbon? Now that we know what activated carbon is, let's explore why reusing it is crucial. Activated carbon is often used in processes where it adsorbs contaminants, pollutants, or impurities. Over time, the carbon becomes saturated with these substances, reducing its adsorption capacity. Instead of discarding it, reusing activated carbon offers several benefits. 1. Environmental sustainability. By reusing activated carbon, we can minimize waste generation and reduce the burden on landfills. This promotes a more sustainable approach to waste management. 2. Cost efficiency. Activated carbon can be an expensive resource, particularly in large-scale applications. Reusing it allows companies to save costs by extending its useful life and reducing the need for frequent replacements. 3. Conservation of resources. Activated carbon production requires significant energy and raw materials. Reusing it helps conserve these valuable resources and reduces the overall environmental impact of its manufacturing. The process of reusing activated carbon. Now, let's explore the process of reusing activated carbon. Although the specific steps may vary depending on the application and the contaminants involved, here is a general outline of the process. 1. Adsorption. The first step involves using activated carbon to adsorb contaminants from a liquid or gas stream. This can be achieved through various processes, such as activated carbon filters or packed bed adsorption columns. 2. Desorption. Once the activated carbon is saturated with contaminants, it needs to be regenerated. Desorption is the process of removing the adsorbed substances from the carbon. This can be accomplished through several techniques, including thermal reactivation, steam reactivation, or chemical regeneration. 3. Regeneration. After desorption, the regenerated carbon needs to be reactivated to restore its adsorption capacity. This is typically done by subjecting the carbon to high temperatures in the absence of oxygen, a process known as thermal reactivation. The heat breaks down the remaining contaminants, releasing them as gases and rejuvenating the activated carbon. 4. Quality control. To ensure the effectiveness of the reused activated carbon, it is essential to perform quality control tests. These tests may involve measuring properties such as adsorption capacity, pore size distribution, and surface area to ensure the carbon meets the desired specifications. 5. Application. Finally, the rejuvenated activated carbon can be reintroduced into the same or similar processes to continue adsorbing contaminants. It's important to note that the number of regeneration cycles that activated carbon can undergo depends on various factors, including the nature of the contaminants and the regeneration techniques employed. And there you have it, the process of reusing activated carbon in a nutshell. By reusing activated carbon, we can contribute to a more sustainable future by reducing waste, conserving resources, and minimizing costs. So, let's embrace this eco-friendly approach and make a positive impact on our environment. Thank you for watching, and, 